Hi. In this video, we will look at the topic of tenants in common. When you go to buy a property with another person or people, your conveyancing solicitor will ask you what style of property ownership you want to have, a tenancy in common or a joint tenancy. There are numerous considerations to make when deciding which option is right for you. The type of ownership will make a difference to what you are able to do with the property if one party dies or decides they want to sell. Tenants in common own different and separate proportions of the same property. The shares do not have to be the same size. For example, you could both have a tenancy of your own bedroom and be entitled to use the communal spaces, or you could each have a 50% share of the property. There are multiple benefits to being tenants in common. Firstly, you get to decide who inherits your share of the property. Therefore the arrangement is well suited to people with children from another marriage, unmarried couples, siblings or business partners buying together. These people are less likely to want the co-owner to inherit their estate. Secondly, you can decide what shares of the property each party gets, so it can reflect the amount each party has put into the deposit or bills. Thirdly, it will protect your interest in the property and the amount you invested. Fourthly, it is possible to sell your own share of the property even without the co-owners giving consent. Therefore, it will be a better option if your relationship is unstable. If you and your partner split and you have a joint tenancy, one party cannot sell without the other's consent. There are however some disadvantages to consider too. There are risks involved with a tenancy in common agreement, including 1. A joint tenancy is simpler and you do not have to work out shares. 2. If a co-owner dies and they do not have a will in place, then the property will go through the probate process. This is costly and takes time, so your children may not receive your inheritance as quickly. 3. Married couples generally do not get an advantage from a tenancy in common, as if one of them dies, the property will be passed on to the surviving spouse anyway. 4. If one of the owners wants to sell, but the co-tenants disagree, the co-owner can serve a partition action. This might mean the other joint tenants have to sell the property even though that is not what they want. Lastly, if one of the co-owners dies, then there is potential for dispute between the deceased joint owner's surviving family and the remaining co-owner. That's the end of this video but if you would like to read more, you can do so on the help and advice website.